Dynasplint Systems, the pioneer and market leader since 1981, delivers low load, prolonged duration stretch technology that creates a biomechanically correct stimulus to help patients regain their range of motion and their life the way it ought to be. Proudly made in the USA, our Dynasplint production facility is located just over the Memorial Chesapeake Bay Bridge in Stevensville, Maryland. Won't you join us on a quick tour? Hello, my name is Brian Catterton and I'm the production manager with Dynasplint Systems. I'd like to tell you a story about how new units are created in production. It all starts with Kevin McDougall and myself getting together and discussing forecast models and what's required for uh, new units being created for the upcoming quarters. These forecasts are determined by what's selling out in the field and that's what generates our new orders. After our meeting, I uh, generate a spreadsheet using Excel, which I calculate the parts and materials required for this uh, particular run. And then I take that information and give it to Renee, where she'll generate a purchase order. Okay, now we're getting ready to go inside. Now I'm going to show you the machine shop at Dynasplate Manufacturing. Oh, before I forget, you better put your safety glasses on. When I start a new run of splints, we're not just making one type of splint. We are making several different splints at the same time. In fact, I just put together a run that consists of 6,950 units, including knees, elbows, and shoulders. With that being said, the 6,950 unit run equals 400,000 plus parts. To make these units requires over 23,000 feet of stainless steel tubing and 13,000 feet of stainless steel bar stock. This is your raw material right off the truck. Future knees, elbows, shoulders, ankles, you name it. This is uh, the material used to make uh, the foot plates. This stack of aluminum sheets represents 2,200 individual foot plates. In addition to that, there's over 250 different operations to get all the components ready for assembly. We manufacture a large portion of our parts in-house. However, we do rely on outside sources to handle some of our parts production. What Tanya Gale is doing is she's welding the button assembly to the uh, uh, 5 8 cuff tube. This is a very delicate process and if it's not done correctly, the button will not function. In the past, we used to uh, serialize our units with a label with a barcode on it. And uh, now we've got new technology. It's a laser made by Epilog and it actually anneals the steel and permanently marks the physical part on the unit and creates a 2D barcode that can be scanned. The plus side of having the barcode actually in the steel is it can't come off. It's permanent. Parts are thoroughly inspected throughout the entire process of being made. This is quality control. We do a 100% check on everything. We wanted to go out perfect to you guys. <laughs> uh, right now I'm just checking uh, calf tubes. I have a no-go gauge, go gauge. If they're not good, I set them to the side and let my supervisor make the decision if we can fix them or not fix them. All right, this is Jeanette, and uh, she's uh, primary, the primary person for uh, assembling brand new shoulder units. And she's going to walk you through some of the steps, so she's going to show you how to do it. The first thing we do when the shoulder is being done, it gets the light, and then it comes to me. Second step, we go down here, then it gets the black rubber padding on the back. It gets glued on. Then I flip it over, and then I add the Velcro on. This Velcro is added on for the cushion. The next procedure, the plates get put on. We put the plates on. After the plates are done, then the scopes go on, then the cushion. This is ready to be boxed into the shoulder case. Then here's we have the cushion, the straps, the bungee cord, and this is how it's complete. After final inspection, the, the, all the units are boxed, packaged, and shipped to all the wonderful sales reps out there for you to get on to patients and, and get them healthy. Thanks for stopping by and I'll see you on your next tour.